Daryl Coke here. Today we're going to be concentrating on uh, the building and uh, we, we've got three buildings there. We've got uh, two uh, houses and we've got that lighthouse. So we're going to see how we can start painting that. Now we're going to be doing a little bit of work on each of these buildings as we go along from now on. So let's get started. Head right on down to the palette. Okay, well let's put in our buildings right now. Now the first building is going to be over here and I'm just going to go ahead and draw our building right here. Okay, and if you'll remember our drawing lessons from the basic technique, okay, two points will eventually meet. Okay, so here's the roof line to the first one. See that? And then just like that. This tree is going to be in the back, so don't worry about that too much. And there we go. Yeah, just something simple. It doesn't matter if you've got an A or an F in drawing. It doesn't matter. Okay, now let's bring this over and we'll have another building right about here and it'll be a smaller building I don't know what the buildings are used for I haven't figured that much out I just decided to put them here you can erase that if you want to just for purity okay and here we go and it'll stop floating in midair we're not going to worry, we'll bring some uh, dark up here to cover that. And then we'll bring our uh, lighthouse up right next to it. So the next thing to do then would be to take a fan brush and get some more of our dark, okay? And just move that around. Get some acrylic uh, green, some alizarin, brown, both brown. Uh, some blue. Alrighty. Get some nice uglies. That's what I say. Get a good case of the uglies. Alright, there we go. See? And there it is. That's how easy it is to just change the whole terrain. Alright. Now, as I go to paint the uh, first uh, building, I want to put a nice gray color, and then I'll highlight it, okay? A lot of the buildings used in the uh, Cape for constructing the, uh, uh, the lighthouses or the adjacent building where the caregiver would live are white, so we're going to use a white, but in order to have the white really show out. I want to have a nice, nice uh, gray color. Okay, there we go. That's the brush I want, the number 12, Taclon. So we want to have a nice dark gray. So again, we'll start out with a little bit of the black. Okay, and white because black and white make gray. A little bit of purple because we never use Wow, a little bit of purple. I think I used the whole tube right there. But if that happens, don't worry about it. Just get a little more black. There we go. A little more white. See, no big deal. It is surprising, though, to initially see just how uh, much purple we had put down. Okay, yeah, let's get a, a little more gesso in here. Oh, there we go. I like that. Now, let's just go ahead and put that up here. And we'll just outline this building. There we are. That's that easy. And then we'll outline this side. It's kind of a purplish gray to the point it's a lavender, but it doesn't really matter. We just 
getting a uh, primer going. All right, and and you see this? How I'm going over the uh, grass? That's why I wanted to use a primer. That was a dark gray. Otherwise, if it's too light, it's going to be a problem. All right, there we are. See that? Now just go back to make sure that you filled in the canvas good. Because a lot of times, okay, with layer on layer, you'll find that other colors are just showing through. So we don't want that. See how I'm wishing out the bottom? That's because we don't want any hard edges. All right, let's load up again and do the front building. There we are. Just like that. Yeah, we just have some of that green coming in there that we had put down. Don't worry about that. Our lighter color will cover, cover everything. It hides a multitude of sins. My daughter, who spent many years as a carpenter before she devoted herself solely to professional football, used to say, that's what finishing carpentry is all about. Hiding all the other carpenters work. I'll say work. All righty. I guess Microsoft should hire some uh, finishing carpenters. By the way, that was a joke. I don't know if you got it. Didn't you enjoy that joke, Atif? Yes. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. I have fun. I believe you should have fun. If you're painting, you know, it's not a bad day. It's a great day if you're painting. We're going to mix up a roof color. There's some of the red right here. Some of the uh, sienna, burnt sienna. Okay, maybe a little bit of the, yeah, a little bit of the gesso. We don't want it too dark, you know. So we'll just add a little bit of this lighter color. We can always come back and highlight it. Let's check it out. Wow, I like that color. Not often I like my roof color so quick. One nice thing about working with these soft brushes for doing buildings is they sure paint it quick. Okay. Go ahead and sharpen up the edge. And you can always just hold your hand right here and go straight across. And then come upward. See that? Just go in the opposite direction from what you were doing. Isn't that cool? All right. Now, I wonder if you can see where we're going to go next. See this point? We're just going to come right down here. Just like that. Now, let's go do the little roof on the front. Come right back up here. And then bring this down, just like that. I d don't get me wrong, I enjoy doing buildings with a knife, but with acrylics, it's almost better to do them with the brush. The brush gives you so much more control. 
Okay. And then we'll go into highlighting these buildings. I had displayed this picture because this is something that we practice over the summer and I put it on my new newsletter and one gentleman really cracked me up. He goes, if you make a film out of that Cape Lighthouse, I'll buy it in a New York Minute. Always made me wonder how fast the New York Minute was. But I gotta believe it was pretty fast. All right, there's the chimney. And then straight across. See that? You make a line. Then you make a center line that's a little bit lower. Bring it down. And then over. And that's it. All right. Let's now clean our brush. And I'm going to get some of the titanium white. And maybe a little bit of yellow ochre. There we go. And let's take a little bit of this color, this roof color. See? Just like that. Now, let's figure out where the highlights are going to be. Okay. We said the light's coming over this way. So that means it's going to hit on this side. So let's there we go. Just put your see that. Now take your finger and just rub that color in good, just so it's fading in. All right. All right, and do the same thing here on this edge, and you'll find that your uh, color is going to be a little bit tacky, your roof, which is good, because that means it's still wet, and perhaps right along here. Don't worry if you get this. Just come back with your fingers. See that? And there we are. There's how easy it is to highlight that roof. All right. Over here, do the same thing. But I don't think we're going to see too much on that edge. So we'll just... Come back here. Make sure you clean your finger off afterwards. You would not want to put this on your shirt. Okay. There we go. Pull this down. Alrighty. I think that's working well. Let's go ahead. Clean our brush. Now we want to get the lighter color for the house. All righty, so we'll take some, uh, uh, let's uh, think of it, go right in here. And there we are. Well, let's make it a little bit brighter. Let's take a little titanium white and mix that right in there. Yeah, now that's dirty white. The others looked a little too CNH. All right, here we go. Now, the brighter color is going to be here on the front side. So we'll just come in here. There we are. And over here. See how easy that it works?
And don't worry if a hand shakes a lot. Everybody shakes. And don't worry about the bottom too much. All righty. Now, let's add a little bit blue. Maybe a little purple with it. Not much. Yeah, do this with your brush first. All right, that way you can test it out. Make sure you don't get a whole glob like I did way over here somewhere. Okay. There we are. That's our shadow color. Now, here we come. See how easy that was to do? And it could use a little more purple. Now that's what you got to do is test this. Alrighty. And there we are. Because if you think it's too bright, it turns out to be too dark. If it's too dark, it's too bright. So the only way to figure this out is to come in here and test it. All right, there we go. I like that. And then when you find you like it, then go with it. Alrighty, let's reload on the other side for the other side. There we go. All right, so we have our uh, uh, building here and our roofs already highlighted our uh, building is highlighted in a minute I'm going to come back and then put in the windows and some of the shadows that we'll need let's just go ahead and just do that I know it's the shadow color but it's okay it truly is alrighty See how I'm just getting closer to the edge there? Just bring those together. All right, just like that. Okay, dokie. Let's uh, go ahead and put in our lighthouse. And I'll start off by uh, taking all this dirty color that we have. Why not? And here, let's just add some more white to it. Now, we want to go up to... Probably about here, all right? So I'll just put a mark. That's your bravery test. Let's get a little bit of medium flow. That's the acrylic flow that's right here. So that way we can stretch it out. All right, now the best way I can tell you to make this is just, just put your brave mark there and come straight down, see? And then put it over halfway and angle it, just like that. See that? And then just make sure you fill in everything because with that even, uh, with that medium uh, flow that you had there, there's gonna be a tendency to skip a bit. All right, let's load her up again. Just like that now. We're going to put this about halfway, and as we come down, see how I'm full width? So this bottom is three brush widths wide, and this is two. Okay. That's just how I do it. I don't know in reality what the people do when they build them. All right. 
side. Make sure right here where the horizon is, you put a lot of paint. And so that when it dries, it will look good. And then here, just for this top, I just touch, touch, and touch to straighten it out. Just like that. Okay, now while that's drying, and that's drying, I'm going to put in some base for the rocks. So let's come over here and clean my brush. And I'll uh, get the little one quarter inch uh, angular brush. Right there it is, just waiting for me. And here we go. I'll take some black and just put that right there. Actually, let's just take some of the burnt umber and the black, mix that together. Okay. So we're going to come way in here in the, uh, all right, there we go. And there we go. So I'm, I'm putting all the rocks in the dark edge. That way I can keep my beach, okay? And so let me just, there we go. I like this. I like putting your rocks in before you uh, highlight your uh, greenery, and that way you can bring your, your foliage right onto your rock, and it'll look really, really natural. Okay, so let's go ahead, and I hope you can see this, but we have quite a few rocks around here, and but there's a couple that are just right in here. Yeah, right in there. So we'll just go ahead and add them right now. And maybe, yep. And over here. Take a little bit more. And add it right in there. Yeah, that's good. Now the others that are interspersed throughout the uh, foliage area, we'll, we'll do those as we come up to them because we have to do the uh, foliage behind them and then put the rocks in and then do the foliage in front. Okay, well while we're waiting for, it's almost ready, actually it is ready, so let's get ready to do some windows and doors. Okay, to do doors, I'm just going to take black, okay? Look for a dry spot here. There we go. And I want to put a nice little door right here. So I can go ahead and just rest my hand. See that? There's the... There's the door. Not the doors, but the door. Okay, now we've got this paint too wet. So when that happens, don't fret, okay? It's, um, it's quite all right. We just get a paper towel. Let me show you something that's cool about this. Just take a paper towel. See that? Just take it off. That's how easy it is. Isn't this neat? It's one of the advantages. All righty. Let's come over here and bring um, to another dry spot here. There we go. You don't want any medium with this. So that's what the problem is, is we had medium. So here we go. See this? I'm just going to come... Straight across. And there we are. That's as easy as the door can get. All right, now for a window, 
I'm going to use just the edge. And I'll come in. See that? Now, if you're more comfortable, you can use the number one liner or number one round brush. And I'll show that to you in a second. Okie dokie. So here's the number one liner. And we'll move right into the black acrylic. You can use this for the door too, but that shader just works really good. All right, see that? Now, we can also do a couple of uh, windows here. This is the daytime, so can't really see what's happening inside. All right, reload again. I don't know, maybe they got two or three windows here. I won't know until I quit. Everybody says, how do you know how many windows are in there? And it's very simple. When I quit putting them in, then I know, count them. I know. Last time I said that to a student, they said, oh, we got a live wire here. All righty. Now, let's just take a little bit more of a black, and let's put some shadows on here. Okay, we're going to see them right under the eaves. All right, see that? They're going to cast a shadow. Let's just take a little bit of the medium flow. Put that right in there because you don't have to have solid black. You just need a darker color. All right, let's come back here. There it is. And here we are. And then right underneath here, get a small shadow from the roof. A little bit more. There we are. And now we want to put some uh, shutters around the windows. And I'll get a little bit of yellow ochre right in here. All righty. And there we are. That'll brighten that little old house up. I like this so much, I've always thought I'm putting yellow ochre trim around my house. I don't know if you've uh, ever seen or remember Christopher Walken. He played on uh, so many different movies, and recently he was host of, uh, or a special guest of uh, Saturday Night Live, and he's reading questions from the audience, and someone says, what color are you? And he goes, color? I'm not color. And then he went on to talk about the question, and he goes, but you know, I guess I would have to say I'm kind of like a upper number kind of guy. Crack me up. How many people would have thought to be bar number? Okay, let's um, move over to the lighthouse and we'll take our angular shader and now we want to get some more of the white. We'll just use the gesso to begin with. All right, just mix it in with just a little touch of another color. There we go. Now, let's come over here. 
Sunlight's going to be coming on the right side. And you know something? Just take your time. Go gentle. Go easy. And then as you work towards the left side, just let it break up. See that? And you got that natural shadow on the left side. Let's go ahead and get some more. See how easy that is? Just let it take you. Just let yourself take as much time as necessary. See that? All right. And there we go. You gotta make those lighthouses sound. See? And that will give us a rounded appearance. See that? Now, after I do that, I like to come back and get some of the titanium white and mix that with the color we just had there. Do the same thing over. It's progressively building up the brighter color. All righty, there we are. There we are. See how I'm just hitting that little dashes, but with the width of the brush. Yeah, just like that. And you can come in with that shader and just go straight down like that. Okay, let's grab some more paint. You just don't want to make it look like a tree, okay? If we do too many dashes, it's going to be a round tree. Big, tall redwood right here in the edge of the... Uh, someone made it into a tree house. Okay. There we go. Then go, just do it again. I like to go over and reinforce that edge and reinforce it and reinforce it. All righty, now I'm happy. I'm happy with that edge. Hey, didn't even have to do much with it. We had the shadow all built in there. And you know something? If you still want to smooth that out, just take a little bit of even flow right there. Bring it along the edge. That's that medium acrylic flow. See? And then you can just ever so lightly blend it again. So that's how you waken that up. 